Hey everyone, welcome to uh, the next route. As uh, from last video, we had uh, set up from Fontext API, and uh, for this video, we are I'm going to implement uh, uh, Firebase uh, sign up and uh, login. Uh, sorry, Firebase login and uh, sign up. Uh, so just uh, um, what I'm going to do inside SRC folder, I'm going I'm going to create a network folder. And inside uh, network, I'm going to create another folder for login and uh, second for the uh, sign up. And uh, well, I'll use uh, logout uh, here as well. And uh, next should be the user. Okay, uh, that's fine. Now, uh, as we had already set up uh, our configuration in Firebase config file, so uh, write for login index.js file, also uh, for sign up here as well, index.js. Uh, uh, so I need to bring Firebase uh, from my configuration. Uh, I think uh, it's not showing option for me. Uh, let uh, right import Firebase from test uh, uh, from here. Uh, I need to bring here, and uh, I just I'm gonna create a function for uh, when user request for the login, and this should be an arrow function, and uh, I'm gonna make it a sync function. At async function and uh, I'm gonna pass it to two params email and password that's all and uh, if I'm going to use try catch block if uh, any error occur then I'm going to simply return error and uh, if uh, else uh, what I'm going to return it will gonna await for uh, firebase dot uh, Auth dot uh, sign in with the uh, email and password and simply pass your email and password here. Save this one and uh, copy this. Move to sign up and uh, copy here. And in place of login, I'm gonna change open name uh, sign up. And inside login, I just uh, need to export it to default, export the uh, default login request. And for sign up here, I'm, I'm going to use uh, export default here as well. Sign up request. And for sign up, in place of uh, sign in with email and password, I had to just use uh, uh, create user with email and password. That's all. Now, uh, copy this thing as well like uh, if uh, I sign up uh, successfully then what I need to do I have to uh, update my user table like, like uh, uh, I'm gonna create my real-time database uh, but for uh, create login and uh, sign up I'm using uh, Firebase inbuilt method so if I do uh, sign up successfully I just need to update my user so inside user i'm going to create just uh, index dot uh, js file and uh, paste this thing and uh, i'm going to give it a name of uh, add user and add user will take uh, name of uh, name email and uh, uid i'm not going to save password of user here so profile is here and uh, what I need to do uh, in place of auth I have to communicate with the database and here, here I have to give ref of user if uh, there any not reference then it will gonna create a new and with user I'm gonna create uh, a user ID dot uh, set and what it going to set like uh, 
name should be name email should be email and uh, unique id of user should be uid and uh, profile image uh, should be profile image like uh, at uh, very first time user haven't uh, any profile picture so it is uh, going to store empty string so now uh, uh, i think uh, yeah create uh, index.js file for the for your network so that i can bring all of my function here so first of all i need to bring a login request import uh, login uh, request from uh, the login and uh, then after i need my sign up request so that uh, request from uh, the sign up and uh, what i need to do like uh, uh, i had uh, not created a default export default from user because uh, later on i need to update profile of user so i had uh, just created a not uh, uh, exported default so uh, here i'm i'm going to use uh, add user and uh, let's uh, change its name of uh, it should be in caps that should be better add user save this one and then I'll export the login request then uh, sign up request then add user save this one now uh, move to our sign up inside our container here I need to uh, bring uh, my sign up request here also uh, what I need to do like uh, I have to bring uh, my loader here as well so copy this one from login as in last video I had uh, created a context API for so use context and there should be store also uh, I need to load in start and stop here as well afterward this store that's fine now uh, if everything fine then uh, it is gonna dispatch loader action and uh, its type uh, should be loading start then uh, right after it is gonna request for uh, sign up request is it fine yeah that's fine uh, for sign up request it is asking for uh, the params uh, email and the password And uh, since uh, it's gonna return a promise, I can simply use dot then do this. And uh, if uh, any error occurred, then uh, simply catch this error. And what I'm going to use, I'm going to just alert the error. And uh, before alert the error, I need to stop my loader here, dispatch loader action. Uh, I had to give it type of uh, loading stop and uh, if uh, it's successfully completed async storage has been oh, removed in future yeah I'm not uh, using this uh, will fix this so I use uh, let profile ing as uh, if user uh, created uh, successfully at Firebase server I need to update my table and uh, it will hold uh, the profile image as well so I have to use uh, add user and the params it is asking for uh, name email and uh, the UID 
also uh, it's a uh, it, it is asking for uh, the profile I am and uh, it's uh, it's also gonna return a promise dot uh, then to this else uh, if there are any error I'm doing the same thing as my catch block here and uh, what should be uh, the UID it should be uh, let uh, UID I'm going to create uh, five days dot uh, auth dot current user and I can simply find my UID from here it is giving some error in line number 53 I think oh I had to do something wrong this should be no it should fine I think I had to do something wrong in syntax let me what this one yeah it is fine and uh, I have to huge catch block here yeah that was the error I think yeah now I need to bring my UID from uh, firebase dot uh, auth and uh, it should be a uh, front user dot uh, uid so you can simply pass and if uh, in user it adds successfully then what i need to do i had to set my set uh, async storage why well, it's not uh, working i think so i need to import my async storage from uh, import uh, something from uh, async storage and uh, there I have my method which is uh, set async storage here I need to write my method and what I need to do I need to bring my keys here as well keys dot uid and inside UID I'm going to just pass my UID and also set unique value from uh, UID here as well and uh, after done everything successfully I need to dispatch my loader again and uh, simply navigation it navigate to dashboard navigation dot uh, navigate the dashboard okay let's give any name xyg xyz at gmail uh, dot com one two three four five six one two three four five six let's see it's uh, asking let's say it's it will not able to find the reference of firebase okay I haven't import uh, firebase here so let's uh, import uh, firebase uh, from uh, our config that's fine now I think uh, this mail uh, has been registered and I'm going to use xyg2 now let's know for that config dot default or dot it is saying now it's not object firebase dot alt I think uh, well I'm drawing the wrong something let's refresh this one and uh, 
at uh, cute name of uh, BBC BBC at wait, uh, gmail dot com set the password for this getting the same error at uh, C console okay I think uh, npm run iOS let's see this it in console as well console dot uh, low what is the value we are getting first run the application sign up and give apc2 to at rate gmail one two three four five six Let's see what we are getting. It's saying uh, Firebase auth uh, for current user is null. Oh, let me check. Current user. Okay. Let me uh, find out this issue will uh, carry on from the next video and 